Welcome back everyone, it's Hefenews57 here. I'm back on Neverwinter on the Xbox One, and today I will be showing you how to obtain the Siege Breaker Griffin, which is the new epic mount that you can get from the Siege of Neverwinter event. So, this is a pretty cool mount because it is a epic. Uh, it's a quit bonus, is a thousand defense, a thousand deflection, so not bad for tanks, not really great for DPS, but it can use Wanderer's Fortune, which is a very nice thing to have. I'm going to quickly show you what it looks like, but that picture does not do it justice. So it does take 14 of the Rite of Commendation, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get those. So one thing I need to mention first before I teleport to the correct place is you can go to your guild stronghold, and from the master of coin obtain a quest to turn in at the uh, neverwinter siege battlefield now the problem is i cannot show you that quest because it is currently glitched out for me and not available on my main character but available on the rest of my alt characters now remember with this mount it is bound to character so if you want it on multiple characters you are going to need to do this for multiple characters so, first step, teleport to the Siege Battlefield. And here you will pick up the quest that you actually need to worry about. Now, normally, if you went to the Stronghold first and you had the quest from the Master of Coin, you could simply turn the quest in here to this NPC and pick up the Siege of Neverwinter quest, which is doable once per day and gives you one Rite of Commendation. Now, you will see earlier I had 13 rights of commendation, and that is because I actually saved mine from the last time that this event is active, or was active. So, if you have some left over on, like, your main character, then go ahead and use them. Otherwise, you have to do this quest for every day that the Siege of Neverwinter is active in order to have enough rights of commendation to get that mount. With that being said, there is one other thing that you can do, and that is to sit there and buy the Rite of Commendation from the Zen Market, which I refuse to do this for a mount that I can farm, but it is under the new category. Right there you can see the Rite of Commendation. You get one of them for 100 Zen, so it would take you 1400 Zen to buy enough Rites of Commendation to just go ahead and grab the mount. Now what you need to do is you need to do two heroic encounters for this quest. And unfortunately, sometimes they are very easy to find, but then again, at least on the Xbox, there is a literal crap ton of instances, so a lot of times the instance doesn't have a heroic available for you, which is why I'm sitting here hovering over the change instance option. And I'm just going to go ahead and change instance to one of the more populated instances. I'm going to try number 11 here. Uh, I can't do that. Map transfer failed. So somebody else loaded in. Let's try 11 again. Map transfer failed. Of course. Uh, but this is literally the hardest part is sitting here trying to find a instance that actually has a heroic encounter up in it. There are basically like five heroic encounters that can spawn two dragons, a destroy the catapults, and like two different assault or invasion heroics. Uh, they just got done, it looks like, killing a dragon here. So it's going to be a minute before another heroic spawns, and everybody is currently trying to do these heroics for reset. So it's going to take me a few minutes to actually find one. Uh, because of that, I'm going to go ahead and make a quick cut. And I will be back as soon as I find a heroic. Alright, so here we go. There's a dragon that just spawned. And I'll go ahead and get a hit in on him. You don't have to worry about doing a ton of damage. You just need to get that encounter complete. And then... If you go up here to your claim heroic encounter rewards, and if you do that fast enough, you can open the heroic that you just got from this zone 
even if you have other heroic encounter rewards saved up already, like I did, you can also farm more than one heroic encounter or more than two or three heroic encounters for the day here and then only open two per day because that is what actually gives you credit for the quest is opening the heroic encounter reward. So now the other thing that you have to do is you basically have to wait for a second heroic to spawn. And I'm going to do my best to find a second heroic by transferring instance again. This time I'm going to try and pick a very low instance number so that hopefully there's a heroic active and people haven't actually killed it. How you go about, you know, finding your two heroics completely up to you. But uh, I'm going to do it this way because look at that. There is a dragon all to myself and I shall work on slaying him. Now they do have a fair deal of health, especially to take down by yourself due to the fact that you are lowered to level 60. Now, it's not really a problem. It just takes a couple minutes to do. And once you do it, you can claim the reward and then go ahead and claim your right of commendation for that being the second heroic that you completed. It is also possible to go ahead and farm these heroic encounters for more of the uh, medallions or the medals, technically. I call them medallions because they look like the medallion of battle from the CTA event. But technically, they are a medal. And those are what you use to buy a couple different packs that you can actually get either Quartermaster Rank 7s from or a few different companions like the Battlefield Medic. Even though I don't think the Battlefield Medic is really that great, so I would go for the Quartermaster Rank 7. But these are relatively easy to do. Uh, I have done them on alts. However, if your character is not geared that well, this will be more difficult to do, and you may wish to actually bring a friend with you to make it easier in completing these heroics. If you're trying to complete them by yourself on a low-geared character, that could be relatively annoying. But I want this uh, Siege Breaker Griffin terribly bad, so since I had these rights saved up from the last time the event was active, because there really wasn't anything that I wanted, I didn't want the banner or anything like that, so I just saved the rights. Now I'm going to wait for it to flash, that I got the Heroic Encounter reward, open it, and you will see Objectives Complete, Siege of Neverwinter. At this point, you are free to leave. You do not have to stay and farm any more heroics unless you would like to. If you want to, then you can reference my farming the Siege of Neverwinter video if you need any advice on that. So, come over here. Go ahead and turn in that quest, which will give you the right of commendation. And then go to the Supply Sergeant where we can now buy the Siege Breaker Griffin. This is the pack that I was talking about that you can get the rank 7 Quartermaster from if you have enough of these uh, Medal of Heroism. And those can be earned by donating defense supplies or farming in the heroics. Uh, they can also be earned from that quest that I wanted to show you, but unfortunately is glitched out for me. So, since I was uninterested in the banner, I'm going to go ahead and purchase this uh, very nice, fancy Siege Breaker Griffin. So, you'll see there it unlocks in the collection. And then it is bound to character. So, we are going to equip that mount. As you see, I now have equip power uh, resilient for 1,000 defense and 1,000 deflection. And I will go ahead and show you what that mount actually looks like because, in my opinion, it's a pretty badass mount. And I don't really like all the mounts in this game, even though I have a decent collection of them uh, and some of the rarer ones. My favorites are the Heavy Twilight Nightmare, this new Griffin, and of course, the Black Ice Warhorse. But then again, the Black Ice Warhorse is a legendary, so it's hard not to like it. And there we go. There is the Siege Breaker Griffin. So we'll go ahead and summon it. It's a traditional 110 
movement speed. Pretty cool, though. Uh, definitely looks better when you're riding it. It doesn't look out of proportionate with your character. Uh, it's idle animation. It actually flies up in the air a little bit, just like the regular Griffin does, except in my opinion has far better coloring than the regular Griffin. And I have to say, this is a mount that I do thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy, which is uh, not something that I can say for very many mounts. Jumping, it even spreads its wings. So yeah, it's it's definitely a cool amount. Um, by far one of my favorites in the game. And I will show you one last thing that makes it cool. If I go to my mounts, go to the stable, and I'm just going to quickly swap out a mount so you can see what it does. I'm going to show you the available mount insignia bonuses for it. Uh, unfortunately, it is low on my list of mounts. There we go. Uh, go over to insignia bonuses and show you for the Siege Breaker Griffin. It has Wanderer's Fortune, which is really good. And then it does have Oppressor's Reprieve, which isn't exactly good great but it's not terribly bad more useful for pvp where you're being controlled than for pve content but it has wanderer's fortune and because it has wanderer's fortune that is why it is a mount that a lot of people really want regardless of whether it's going to be on their main character or an alt character so let me know what you guys think of the new uh, griffin here, this Siege Breaker griffin. I think it's pretty badass, and I hope that you guys will agree with me because I am actually going to go through the trouble of farming this mount on almost every one of my characters. Not every one of my characters, but just my main characters. Until next time. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave a comment. Otherwise, smash the like button, share the video with a friend, and of course, subscribe for more content. Stay frosty.